Newbie Dream Hummingbird V3 is one of the most inexpensive new crafts that you can get. It's actually pretty durable. And for newcomers, some of the latest trend is to have an ultra, ultra lightweight, really more set up for racing. This doesn't do that though. So it has a little bit more durability because of the protective pod. It does add a few more grams. So you're not going to be competing with this thing. But for the new pilot that's looking to spend well under a hundred dollars and you get addressable leds which really make it cool for those people learning to fly to be able to see it especially if you take it outside for the first time in the evening you'll be able to see it clearly because a lot of the things that'll happen is these things will fly away they'll get away from you this thing comes with an f411 processor in the box you also get a very nice component layout diagram along with some binding instructions it's super easy you just plug this into Betaflight with the USB connector on the bottom, enter your bind phrase into the receiver tab, save, and you're ready to fly. You also get a set of these newbie drone Azzy Tri-Blade props. They also have these in a variety of colors, nice little prop tool, and they even have Venom iBlade prop. Let's go over the components. It has this very nice polycarbonate canopy, the video transmitter antenna out there the pigtail at the back now keep in mind they are still using the old ph2 battery style connector this battery actually comes with the kit so for 89.99 you get everything i do kind of wish they would use the updated bt2 style battery which is this which is what most of the other people are using it is noted that they are using gold plated battery connectors right here which should get you the max performance motors we have an 0802 25,000 kv a little bit of extra juice to compensate for that additional weight means that it still flies juicy <laughs> The board itself has an F411, it has an analog video transmitter that goes only 25 milliwatts, so you have no increased power options if you wanted to go farther, but for these tiny crafts, you're not really going too far anyway. It has a Blue J 48 kilohertz ESC firmware flash to that electronic speed controller. You have an actual antenna here for your receiver, which is kind of nice. A lot of other crafts will just use a little piece of copper wire. The total weight on the Humming V3 actually drops one to two grams. I'm getting right at 24 grams, which is a little bit heavier for a modern day whoop. Oh, this is heavy. But it has a lot of quality of life things. This cockroach frame is actually very, very durable. They also had a little bit of weight though for these soft foot pads, which make landing a little bit easier and a little bit softer. So for a beginner, I could totally see why this a level of strength is going to be preferred you can get this canopy in a variety of colors you see a white one right here and a yellow one right here and we have the gray one mounted on there the actual color that you're going to get is going to just be random so you're going to order it and you're going to have a variety of colors that you can get and that's what you're going to get the flight controller in here is actually the Hummingbird V3 with ELRS all-in-one which includes everything that's your flight controller your video transmitter, your electronic speed controller, and your receiver. The camera that's pre-installed on here is the BI camera that's made by Newbie Drone. It's pretty good, and the video reception is okay, but it's still analog, so whether it was perfect or just okay, it's still not gonna look on par with HD, so I don't know if that's really a big deal or not. The most significant thing is that they've actually managed to reduce the price of this down to $89.99, and if you buy today or tomorrow, as this video comes out, there's actually a sale going on. I'll put the code in the description. You can get it for 10 bucks less at only $80, which is pretty significant, and with that package, if you act quick, you'll also get a free cockroach spare frame as well this frame which is interesting note actually has a warranty on it if you manage to crack the frame contact newbie drone they'll send you a new one uh, and at only 23 grams it's still light enough to comfortably fly it without worrying about damaging anything even inside your house this thing's not going to take out your big screen tv so i'm glad that newbie drone is still putting out comfortable models out there yes the trend like i said is to go all towards racing setups but that's not necessarily the most beginner friendly because with that ultra lightweight you get a little bit more fragility in some cases and this is really going much more towards a nice pleasurable ride i will note that i feel like the rates were a little bit high for a new craft but that's something that you can easily adjust i'll go give you some recommended rates to make it a little bit slower even for me i'm used to racing so i fly lower rates and the rates are just like how much it actually rotates 
under each axis based on the stick command that you give. I'm used to lower because racers are used to that fine tuning. It's sort of like you were a gamer playing a shooter game. Do you want fast twitch move back and forth very quickly or do you want look down sights accuracy? Racers are used to that slower look down sights, but it flies really good. And I crashed it plenty. It turtle moded just fine and not a scratch on it. Thanks guys. I'm <laughs> sorry.